You're listening to Dave and Chuck the Freak's Tasty Bits Podcast. The idiot criminal of the day. This is a wild one. There are four guys that have been arrested in California for staging fake bear attacks inside their vehicles. <laughs> oh, my God. They bought a bear suit and fake claws. <laughs> Stop it. And got no. inside cars and pretend, no. pretended to rip them apart so they could get insurance money. That's hilarious. Oh, wow. But when they sent the pictures of the damage in, it was obviously staged. <laughs> the claw marks were perfectly straight. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Every single time in every mm. single place. It's all nuts. If you have time, go check it out. We are posting this at DavidChuckTheFreak.com, and you'll see the links right now on our social media pages. But here's the story. Of what they were doing from KCAL TV. Take a listen to this report. Well, three men say they had their cars broken into in Lake Arrowhead three times by one bear, or so they um, say. The bear the had editor, an Mike elbow. Rogers, is at the desk. The mic, this was all yeah. caught on camera, right? <laughs> yeah, the whole thing was. There's a security camera video. These three men say that the bear did $140,000, a little bit more than that, in damage to their three cars over a series of nights. I want to show you that video that was uh, the, these three men then turned into their insurance companies. And you can see the car there, and you can see what they say is a bear rummaging around in the front seat. They have video of three different cars, including uh, a Mercedes G-Wagon, this Rolls Royce, and another car <laughs> oh as well. God. And they, they claim that this? that's the bear that is inside doing all of that damage. They have video of all three of the cars. You'll see this is the second car here. Uh, and then this is the damage Look. that they say was done by that bear. You see what appear to be scratch marks, but uh, when they perfect. gave this all... It looks like, like they got comb. fake Wolverine claws yeah. Yeah. and did it that this way. information to the insurance company, the insurance One, company two, thought three, it looked four. a little strange. So the California <laughs> Department of Insurance looked into it and strange it was look at what the california <laughs> department of insurance found a bear suit turns out the california department of insurance says the men were dressed up as a bear in this bear suit climbed into their own cars and allegedly created the damage they then tried to pin it on the bear according to the california department of insurance but their insurance companies weren't buying it and upon further investigation this is what they found that fake bear suit now Where today did they find the that? california department of insurance <laughs> they, the guys houses Oh, you mean but, where did the guys find it? No, no how, did the how did the insurance pe- company? They're they were like, down the ground. We're it's doing a, a raid. Suit. It's a raid. <laughs> it's a raid. We're making insurance. <laughs> we're not paying for your stupidity. <laughs> Where's the bear suit at? Get on the ground. They can see you. We're not the law. We'll shoot you. We will kill you and cover it up. <laughs> we thought we were shooting a bear. Yeah, there's the bear suit. We see you. Good, 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 good. We will yeah. not be reviewing your claim any further. Thank you. <laughs> Get it. They watch you, they man. They it? watch they you. They know, Lise. They, they will, know. They'll, they'll stake they your house your out. Cameras. Like, how did they do that? They how did they get the trash? No, I know. They aren't I cops. have so many questions. Yeah. Something happened there. They were like, okay, we have a bear suit. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. have a bear they, they, put for hours. Yeah, they put the squeeze on something. Yeah. Something yeah. happened oh, there. Oh, for sure. Created the damage. <laughs> they then tried to pin it on the bear, according to the California Department of Insurance, but their insurance companies weren't buying it. And upon further investigation, this is what they found, that fake bear <laughs> suit. Now, today, the California Department of Insurance says all three of those men have been arrested for their role in what they call insurance fraud. And now the California Department of Justice is investigating this. The San Bernardino County District Attorney's Office is prosecuting the case. Guys, those I, I just don't understand what their end game was here. Number one, like when a bear gets into your car, it tears the whole thing apart. So like, no wonder they knew it wasn't a real bear. Right, right. I mean, it's bears destroyed. Like, rip the door panels right off and stuff. This was just little scratches mm-hmm. on the leather, like a little bit. And then I, also a bear, its claw, it wouldn't have like five... Yeah, in a row, straight in a row. No. Yes, it might have four that are pretty close. I just well, they're ridiculously stupid. What kind of scary person they sent over there? That was where's the bear suit? <laughs> <laughs> I bet he was calm. They're like, we don't have a bear suit. He's like, Hi. where's the bear suit? I'm Jake from State Farm. <laughs> Jake, I'm going to need you to sit down. All right, in this chair you hear under the, that light. Uh, you hear about the bear? <laughs> <laughs> what bear? 
<laughs> you know the bear that a bear. There was a bear. Here, hold on a sec. I just need to. Here, can I see your hand yeah, for a yeah, second while I put these little battery electrodes on? What are there those for? <laughs> hey, let's not worry about insurance that. stuff. That's just insurance stuff. <laughs> Dump the pail of water on his head. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, that was amazing. Yeah. It's yeah. Oh God, help me, Jake from State Farm. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you knew I'd get the answer the out of <laughs> So uh, insurance companies regularly hire private investigators to look into stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of our listeners works as one of those guys. Yeah. I mean, one of them caught the person that I was involved with, like, t- you know, committing fraud. So, it was But like, I, I get what you're saying. So these are really expensive cars. A yeah, Mercedes G-Wagon, a Rolls Royce among them. Payouts totaled 140000 I mean, to repair the damage that they caused in some of those cars would be thousands. Mm-hmm. Like, how yeah. much were they actually going to profit from this? I don't know. I'm yeah, like, I don't get it. Could I they think just, they just wanted the cash and yeah. didn't care much, probably. And they just realized we can't even afford these cars anyway. We'll just... But wanted the cash. Usually, they give the, ins- the insurance company gives the money to the person repairing it. Not always. Like, sometimes no, you, here it is. you get a check and yeah. you're supposed to... Oh, I, not, that's not the way it works you, here. As long as you, uh, I guess if you knew someone who was in that business and right. they could give you a couple Like your quotes, uncle Bill's mechanic yeah, place or yeah. whatever, yeah. I'm sure people are doing that kind of stuff all the yeah, time. Probably. But it just doesn't add up to me. Operation no. Bear Claw, I don't get it. Like, what was their end game? I just don't know. I, I want to see these guys. I need more info. I just don't know why you'd ever try to rip them off. That's, to me, the no. same level as, like, casino, bank. Like, those people. Oh. They don't even want to pay you when it's legit. Yeah, man. They took down an 80-year-old lady with joy. Right. Here's like, another oh, report. It looks like they got more info okay. in it. So maybe they'll have more details about what was happening here. Let's take a listen in. A pretty bizarre story, Tom. Yeah, this is so bizarre, Pat. Not only did they dress up as a bear, according to investigators, they recorded themselves doing it so that they could then submit these recordings to insurance investigators to collect money. And they did it in Lake Arrowhead in order to convince people that, in fact, this was a bear. Take a close look at this grainy security (laughs) video. What do you see? A bear? An animal? Something else? Mm -hmm. It turns out state investigators say what you're looking at is a human dressed in a bear costume, staging what would turn out to be several insurance fraud claims to luxury vehicles, totaling a little more than $140,000. The suspects sent these videos to their insurance companies, claiming a bear tore up their cars. Those involved have been arrested and are now facing serious oh, fraud that. charges. Oh my goodness. This man lives next door to two of the oh, suspects. He says police came early this morning to make arrests. It was 7 o'clock. We opened the door. They told us to start it. So we were kind of peeking through. They had the ram, ram thing or whatever. We showed him the videos of what investigators say is the fake bear car invasions. That's amazing. I never would have never thought of that. I mean, uh, you know... It, that's pretty far out there, but hey, you know, whatever works. But I mean, if they found a bear suit. And in fact, investigators did find oh, a bear God, costume. Yeah, one of those this neat is things. it, yeah. complete with fake claws. They also sent these photos of what the suspects claimed was damage to the insides of their cars. The scratch marks appear suspiciously symmetrical. State investigators say the suspects tried the scheme multiple times using a 2010 Rolls Royce and several other high-end Mercedes models. Whoever's inside that vehicle is not moving like a bear. No. (laughs) He's moving like a human. Harry Kazakian is a licensed state insurance fraud investigator. Insurance investigators are trained extensively to detect fraud. Not only human factor detecting fraud, as well as... We, now there's the AI, and we got all kinds of cross-referencing. Kazakian points out it's not just how the so-called bear is moving in the cars, it's how they entered. And then, of course, opening the door and getting inside the vehicle, uh, that is highly suspect and questionable. It literally opened it like a human. Yeah. Like, uh... Well, there you have it. These suspects apparently face several years behind bars. They tried this scheme at two different insurance companies. So maybe they were trying to total the vehicle because then you would get a check. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. But I mean, like. 
then total it. Yeah, because it wasn't totaled. It could be repaired. Right. It doesn't make sense. We've so. seen true bear vehicle attacks, and they have been totaled, right? Yes, like every time. They ripped it to shreds. There no. was no way to salvage the vehicle. Like if an insurance company gets a phone call and they're like, a bear was in my car overnight. They're like, okay. They know what they're about to see. Yeah. Doors ripped off. The whole, everything's cra- like torn apart. They've taken giant dumps inside of the car. Yeah. You know, they still won't give you your money. No. But, <laughs> but no. they know what to see. This is ridiculous. No, they so literally bad. had things that you make pulled pork yeah. with yeah. And, <laughs> and shred the meat yep. with. Yeah. That's the what they use. People even found that and they're like, and there you go. Yeah. They just uh, put it right. I don't know what happened there, but something's get scary. Yeah, it is. Wow. They told all. You saw them. <laughs> They didn't look like geniuses. No, Miami. they didn't. Your best bet would be to just roll the dice and really get your balls out of your purse and get you a real bear to get in there. Yeah, oh like my go. God. Oh my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Go park near That's a forest. That's crazy. Put some food in there. Put some food in there. Trail of pork or something. Yeah. Just leave it there. Yeah, you got to go to the bear. Yeah. You're going to get the bear or Jason. I personally think they wanted to do minimal damage, hoping it would be a write off, but they'd get to keep the car and the money. Oh, maybe. You know? Yeah, that's, that's what probably I'm guessing. what they yeah. were thinking. It doesn't which work that way. It that's does not work. Why that insurance way. is so expensive because mm-hmm. of people like this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, his brother Jason has a new title Queen of Christmas. Mm. I love it. <laughs> Mariah Carey calls herself the Queen of Christmas, but she may have to bow down to a new queen or king. Jason Kelsey's new holiday song, Maybe This Christmas, is a hit. Is it? It has just topped the iTunes 100 holiday chart, beating Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas Is You. Finally, took that song down. Uh, Good. Of course, he did have some help. It's a duet with Stevie Nicks. Oh, yeah. We had heard about this. Oh, yeah. They were doing that. Have you heard it yet, though? I haven't no, heard it. No, I the haven't song. heard it yet. No. Let's take a listen to it here. That's all I need to hear. This Christmas will mean something more. Maybe Got a bit this of a Kenny Rogers vibe. <laughs> I know, I mean, let's, iconic, all that stuff. He sounds pretty good. Maybe he sounds better than her. I mean, I hate it. I really hate it. Yeah. I hate it with everything Never inside of me. To that, I hate but. it. <laughs> Oh, I hate it. Um, the New Heights podcast he does with his brother, Travis. Jason said, you know, I fought my whole life to be the queen of Christmas. And the fact that we're finally there is very special. <laughs> he did admit it is early in the season. He said not too many people are listening to Christmas music. So we jumped in there. We'll see if it holds up through the rest of the Christmas season. These guys are like celebrities were when, like in the 70s. Like they do variety shows. And they can do whatever <laughs> they, they want. They do it all. <laughs> yeah, they'll sell be you dancing. breakfast cereal right, and yeah. insurance and p- pulled pork and anything they can. <laughs> like Elmo can talk. Talking to one of them, it'll be a clip that lasts forever. Yep. <laughs> it's so true. They've turned this, thanks to Taylor Swift, into mm-hmm. this incredible empire for these brothers. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, what a, he can make a terrible Christmas song. And I mean, it's, and it's number one. Yeah. yeah. And it goes to number one on the charts. There's <laughs> no way that should be number one, you guys. Again, no, Stevie Nicks, early, legend. Yeah. But she's also Her now like 107. Voice. And, yeah, yeah. You know, it's you hard, yeah. can't sing the same. Yeah, no. this voice. Just like the world. <laughs> yeah. That's the one you remember. Yeah. That's what we know. Yeah. yeah that's all I know. Yeah. Thank you, JC Nix over there. Yeah. Every time I hear her, her name, I can't yeah. stop I singing. That's it. 
baby. <laughs> That's it. You can't stop. Of it's course. there. Mm, it's everyone always knows. in there. Everyone knows. That one, no. I pooped that song so many times. <laughs> oh, man. It's always on in radio oh, stations. It is. You're right. <laughs> that you want to associate that with uh, that song. Yeah, it's just, it's just a fact. <laughs> just a fact. And he is pooping now. Anyway, Ooh, uh, you hear him pooping. Ooh, pooping. Poop, I just baby, always poop. am. It's always happened. It's happened at least 30 times in my life. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> at least 30, no doubt. That's why I know the words. Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't have heard it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's not something you want to think of. No, it's So that's true. where you both, because you both Well, poop they go, here, they poop down there. So it's all the other here. Stations. And I think that other, the other oh, guys also go in there, and I yeah. think they've got it set to their station. Mine spans multiple radio stations, though. Like, oh, okay. I mean, oh. Like, through the years. Yeah, through the years, classic oh, rock yeah. stations playing this. And I'm like, oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, God, it's an emergency. <laughs> well, you know how people, like, they walk into certain stores, they say it makes them feel like they need to poop. Mm. Maybe this has like you, a laxative effect. Well, Are you going to have to go? Let's hope soon. not. No. You have to uh-huh. leave the studio? This well, is, this is an activate. Playing. You're going to have to run yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think it's I, it's like a chicken a egg situation. Yeah, like, exactly. I don't know if, if the song oh. happened before the poops or the poops happened before the song, but all I know is that right when this song starts really kicking in, I'm usually taking a deuce. It might just be certain classic rock stations have to play this song once every 55 minutes. Yeah, throughout my life. You know? Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That'll change how you think about it. <laughs> Andy and Jason poop into the hits. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> Stuck in my head. We had a whole conversation about yeah, White Wing Dove one day. Did you really? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's playing in there. Yeah, I can't get it out of my head. It's a White Wing Dove, right? That's the lyric. Yeah. Yes. Because yes. yes. I've been thinking of One, one Wing Dove. dove. Right. No, around. it's not a handicapped dove. <laughs> yeah. It is no. fully ready to fly. I was like, poor things just flapping in circles. <laughs> Just jumping around. Just flapping in circles. That's all it can do. <laughs> Speaking of Jason Poopin, uh, oh, okay. there was a big <laughs> investigation yesterday. What happened? Well, they, oh, he wow. had me convinced oh, that someone, that, that, mm, that the homeless man was living here in the building. Well, yeah. I was convinced. Yeah. He was convinced. You, know. you were convinced? Yes. Yeah. So Why? upstairs, the, the men's bathroom is attached to some showers because okay. there's also a gym up there. At one point... This was a hustle and bustling place to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh my God. Yeah. 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 Decade it ago. It really was. Yeah. Yeah. Lots going decade. on here. So we could was... have a full room of people uh, meeting. Uh, yes. Hustling and bustling place. <laughs> it really it was. was. When we first started here, my wow. God. So a gym with its Legendary. own showers, locker room, yeah. everything. Yeah. It's got it all here. We really tore it but apart. But now it's basically there's hardly anyone up there ever. And... Um, you know, except for these boys dropping deuces. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Jason go, and I will both yeah. switch to go up there sometimes. Yeah, like, right. oh, if cool. Andy's using that one, then I'll go. And in all my years, I've never encountered another person. No, nope. especially like pre-show that early. Of nobody's course. up there. Right, like the lights like pre- are pre six a.m. kind of thing. So yeah. what happened yesterday? Well, I, I walked in. Nobody's in there. So I sit down. And I'm in there for probably a minute and a half, two minutes, and then I heard somebody walking, but they weren't. They didn't enter. They came from... Hold on. Let me set the scene while you're pooping. Let me just get it... uh, Oh, so I could be in... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I sat down. (laughs) You're relaxing. Edge of 17 kicks on. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) And then somebody walked out from the shower. From the shower? Area, yeah. And I had been in there for like two minutes. Yeah. And it's... You know the feeling you get when you think you're alone? You know? Yeah. Yeah, Like nobody... I didn't think anybody was in it. And then I heard... I'm like... I got really scared. I'm like, who's in the shower? At that time well, of day. Because who's in the shower at that time? Because the shower wasn't on. No. So they weren't taking a they shower. They were living in the yeah. shower. God, they're staying in there. So they walked by and did their deal and walked out. I sat for an extra few minutes because I didn't want to encounter whoever it was. We and don't I know. don't know. I don't know. There should be no activity I don't know who's up here. There. No, no. I thought he was being ridiculous when he said it, but then later in the day, I went up there, went to the bathroom, and when I was leaving, a Middle Eastern man poked his head out and then went back into the shower. <laughs> There's a man living in the shower. A I Middle Eastern man. The Middle Eastern man. Yeah. Well, a, hold we on. Know let me, let yeah, me the, set the, the scene. song. Just changed. Let me <laughs> set the scene. Yeah. Just living. Up Try to there. poop to this song. You probably could. Be crazy. I feel like I probably have. Yeah, you probably have. Yeah. So, so there's a Middle Eastern man living, living in, in our the shower. shower we upstairs. made eye contact and he went back. And then I had to come down and tell Jason, like, you're right. There was a man up there. And good, so I had to go investigate. Verified. And there's like roof access. Um, You guys, did you tell him From the shower? I didn't tell him. Yeah, from the shower. I told Andy. <laughs> Are you <laughs> sure he doesn't work here? No. 
Well, who works we here don't anymore? Know. We don't know. I wish no when he poked his head here. out, he would have put his finger to his lips and went, shh. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't want a man in the shower to do that. He was That's holding like, an iPad. Of course he well, was. Well, then he works here. Does he? I've never seen me. Well, I've never seen this guy in my life. But when Cord saw him, it was like when most people are here. Yeah. When I had the yes. encounter, it was nobody else is here. Who's here at that time? No one. And you what shouldn't be testing. I was like roof. It, three or four of us in the building at that time. Yeah. Maybe they rented it someone. Out. Well, <laughs> and they just didn't tell us. Maybe we need some cash around here. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't think that's about get out of my house, <laughs> what are you doing here? Why are you pooping in my house? I released this <laughs> bald man pooping in my house. Listen, <laughs> I'm on my iPad. And does anyone need a place to live? Yeah, we have some space. We got some space. We've got showers. It's you can live on the roof. Someone else who works here living here. I don't think so. Oh, well, I don't know. I didn't want it. It gets pretty dicey. Maybe there's a new hire we don't know about or something. (laughs) (laughs) They do that sometimes. Go see if he's there right now. Yes, come on. Go see if he's there right now. I'll run up there. I'll run up there. Okay, okay, Court. I'm scared. If Court doesn't come back in a minute, you're going to have to go look for him. Yeah, because he's dead. Send me to save the day. (laughs) Well, you're the fastest. You can run away from the Middle Eastern man. Court will be dead, but you'll be able to run. But the weakest. Yeah. I haven't been up Speed. there in years. Well, that's and nobody no, is. I, so I, I don't haven't even know where the bathroom is. We filmed a video is. in that gym about six years ago, oh. and that's the last oh, time yeah. I've been yeah. near that area. Yep, I go up there. Yeah. Like I, if Jason's in the downstairs bathroom, I'll go up there and, and brave it. Some I honestly mm-hmm. couldn't even tell you I how to get know, to there. I don't know where the I know I have no is. idea where no. the bathroom is. It's the left. Or yeah, it's the other staircase will take you right to it because I normally go up this one, and I don't know. It's all the way to the other side. Yeah, I've only had to go up there a couple times to your real bad news, and. Yeah, it's generally what it is, you know. <laughs> it's like, so not it's, great. Yeah. You no, know, I thought I was alone, and I'm doing my stuff, and then it's weird because you realize, like, oh my, somebody was here the whole time yeah. in the show. Because I will say, did it, like, there's no who. If is I'm it? dead alone, if I'm dead alone in a bathroom, I'm not holding back. I'm just letting everything take place, everything happen at max volume, at max force. To do that and then realize someone has been in there in the shower. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Lisa. You looked at me. I was like, what is he doing? I had to look at the screen. I'm like, oh, here we go. Uh, Another song to just sing all all night. (laughs) But it's Operation Dark Shower. Who's in the shower? shower. You don't want that. I didn't want to ask. You don't want a Middle Eastern man in the shower watching you. No No one does. I was even, I was like, Andy, were you... Were you up there? Oh, yeah, so he did. He there blamed was, you for well, it. It was a weird I, I just moment know. where he was, he was like, hey, man. Um, he got real serious. He's like, yeah, you were up there in the bathroom, were you? I was like, no. Like he's like in the shower area? <laughs> What? No. 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 <laughs> I swear. Yeah. I swear to God. <laughs> yeah, I felt like a weird like, no, it wasn't me. Yeah. It wasn't it me. Court, you know, and then. Like it could have been someone doing real stuff, but that's a weird thing to say. Hey, at six o'clock, were you hiding out in the shower? Yeah, well, why were you pooping? in the shower? I can't ask anything. No, Stop. were you peeping on me? Damn, Damn. we got him text. Oh, we did. Court. Hold on, what did he say? Hmm. Did so, you? He taped. Video. He's got a video. Oh no! It's him going into the shower. I hope it's that guy going. I am sleeping. What are you doing? Here? What are you doing? <laughs> so it accesses into the gym. I didn't know you could get from the gym to the shower. Is that okay. what, what? Oh, my God. There's the stalls. Okay, well, no one is. <laughs> I can't hear what he's saying, but is he talking? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe I don't, not. He, he I just, did. Yeah, I, I yeah, can Yeah, I was it. talking. He goes, oh, he he goes, hello, Middle Eastern man? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. Oh, no. I love oh, is it. that the gym? i never seen it before. That's what it looks <laughs> That's like. <so> funny. <laughs> oh, we have a gym. She's been here 11 or 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> What's even in there now? Like a bike with cobwebs like on it? Or? Middle Eastern man. <laughs> <laughs> Salam alaikum. <laughs> the gym's where our defibrillator is. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. No, I was in there There's a couple no times. There's no one there. I don't know what who was. I, I don't know, Jason. I, I don't know. It was just, it was weird. It is nobody's weird. ever up there. And I like to like be in, be the, be in the bathroom's one thing, but. All there is is a shower. But listen, also, if I was like living the high life up there and living, you know, for free in this building for a while, and then all of a sudden a man catches me, I know I probably have to like cool it for a a couple of days, you know? But this is like, if you found this place and you were like a live in the attic kind of person, 
this is the place because I don't think you'd get found no, for a while. Found. No, you weren't counting on Jason. Could it no, be a exactly. promotions person? How no, regular they it don't is. have those anymore. Yes, and, we do. Not that early. Not really. But sometimes was, they set up. They come. I see some in here early. Promotion yeah, people. I guess. But what are you doing in the shower? Well, yeah. I don't know about that. Why are you in the shower? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and checking like things couple, out, doing a co- tour. It's like so- dead silent. There was no. I went light. in and there like sat no- down. It was dead silent. There's no music up there. No. There's like they have no music That's from creepy. the speaker. It was silent. I'm just doing my thing. Right. Yeah. Trust me, you know, man. There's nothing not creepier. Doing <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> it all of a sudden. The lights were all out. The lights were out. The lights were out. Right, because this is a motion sensor bat. Like, were the lights out when you went in, or were they on? Well, they were on. Like, I opened the door and the lights were on. Mm. But they, they were on, on already because on that clip yeah, that the court just showed us, they, they didn't had go to on fire until up. He opened the door. I don't know. Yeah, see, I don't know. So that was, they I were in there they, before. I, yeah. I want to say they were on. So he was in there. Yeah. You got to know if those lights are on. I don't know. Someone's in the shower. I hope this is, you know. Yeah, you don't want a Middle Eastern jerker in there. You know, oh, yeah, it's got to be something that'd real, be wild. Right? Like someone who knew, like one of these two is going to go yeah, to the bathroom in there, and I have to hear it. I didn't go today. Mm-hmm. Oh. Just waited my turn. Pause it on a weird spot, Dave. That's <laughs> <laughs> a shirtless Rockwell walking into his shower. <laughs> That's almost what I encountered. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> No, that face came out from under the <laughs> stall. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Wow. Uh, I'm going to be back. No, I don't think you would. What a time. I always feel like <laughs> somebody's watching, watching me. me. <laughs> I got no privacy. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, so that, I don't know. We should maybe notify someone that. Well, I mean, that's what no I asked. I'm, more, I'm, listen, understand when Cor went up there, it was later in the morning. It could have been a worker or something. At pre 6 a.m. That's weird. Like there's three or four of us in the building. There's never anyone upstairs. Yeah, there's no cars in the parking there's, lot. Usually. There should be no one there. I, it was just a weird thing to like, go around asking. After asking Andy, I'm like, I yeah. can't ask too many. Were you in the shower peeping yeah. on me? Yeah, because yeah, it was. It was like I felt as the person being asked like weird about it. Of course. I was like, what if he doesn't believe me? Yeah. <laughs> like, I started going through that for about eight minutes. Check the cameras. Yeah, I was like, it was me. I was pooping downstairs. I was pooping I swear to God. I said, Stevie Nicks was saying it. I, you can prove it. You can time stamp. <laughs> One wing does sing the song. He's got to defend himself. He's, He's not lying. lying. He's I not wasn't lying. in the shower peeping on you, all right? Listen. It was right when the song was kicking in. <laughs> I saw the cameras were deactivated as well. Oh, yeah. They, they were. They, oh, yeah. just, they just got it going yeah, as they were. we were doing our show. What? I don't think there's any up there. Don't give no. the criminals any <laughs> info. Just hand the jerker all the information he needs. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> what does that mean? That? <laughs> I have an that? alarm for any kind of Middle Eastern activity that's going <laughs> on. Yeah, you I recognize that sound. I know exactly what that is. What is that? Is that his diabetes? (laughs) Oh, we got a real problem here. (laughs) This is the show now. You have to turn the notifications off, Chad. You can't can't have that during the show. It will go off the whole time. I'm telling you. Is this new? It's going to go off the whole time. You know what? Is your sugar high or low? Hold on. Hold on. (laughs) I just gotta check if I'm reading anything in here. <laughs> anything Middle Eastern going on? <laughs> 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 this is gonna be how it's gonna be uh-huh. around here. Uh oh, you lost your signal or something? Yeah, I don't know. I did <laughs> she said I can see your chart? <laughs> <laughs> I can see your chart. By the way, can you see when I ate the pop tart? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really shows up. Okay, there's got to be an explanation why a uh, foreign man was in the shower pre-6 a.m. Like, there should be no reason for it. So there's got to be a logical reason. If yeah, not, we got to look into it. Well, see, we don't know for sure if it's the foreign man. Right. It might be a different person. We don't know who it is. I don't know. Oh, oh, okay. So I I thought you knew it was the same guy that courts saw. No, he didn't I see don't know. I just assumed maybe. 
court saw the guy. Somebody else was like right. doing so. A check you before. were too afraid to confront him, so you stayed in the stall. Well, what was I going to do? I was pooping. I'm, I was going to go. Hey, <laughs> hey, what are you doing in here? <laughs> Jason, that is what you have to do. I wish I would have seen his shoes, so I can eliminate people by the shoe. Right. What is that? That's, how, that's, shoes. that's the listen. That's it. That's We've gone through some kind of like this, and we it was have. and it yeah. yeah, it was the shoes that did it. The yeah. shoes uh, confirmed. Yeah, it. I don't know. So but I can't. I can't address the shower person as I'm in the stall. Now, yeah, who is? Who's that? <laughs> what are you doing up there? You well, never can you spare know. a square? <laughs> yeah, I'm only going to do that now from now on. When I poop and somebody walks in, I'm going to be like, "Who are you?" <laughs> yeah, you have to. who goes there? <laughs> Identify yourself. <laughs> What a weird morning in the this is, yeah. on the pooper. Yeah, was, yeah. I mean, I scared. go up there sometimes. I've never seen activity up there, but that would freak me right out because mm. it's like uh, that shower area is scary. I think Sherry uh, in yeah, our engineering department is listening. Sherry, if you have any clue, please let us know. She's she hasn't chimed in She yet. said there are no auto lights upstairs. You do have to turn them on. It looked like but that one. Wait, that court, court went did in. You? That's auto. weird because I didn't turn those on. No, no I saw them. Auto They're the auto. It, it definitely. Maybe. Or the Middle Eastern man. Turn the lights yeah. on as soon as he heard the door. Right. No, no. I scurried out through the gym. Yeah. Oh my God, do we have to go up there and check? <laughs> Get a flashlight. There's a man. Is this going to stop you from evidence. pooping upstairs? Yeah. He's yeah. already done it. He won't Why? go. That's He's it. done. It's like a haunted He's house scared. now to me. Where I'm going to turn a corner. <laughs> I'm going to turn a corner and there's just going to be somebody yes. standing. Oh no, yes, you're I'm scared. scared. 100%. Oh, so you have to be uh, down I was here. alone for two minutes and thought nobody was there. And then somebody came you know, out of the shower. My kid has some issues. I'd have to walk him up there and wait outside. Do you need someone to do that? Have you ever you? been in that, that? Like, there's no reason to be in the shower. The shower, no. and it's, it's way right in by. The back. Yeah, like there's just. I don't know where you would have been going to be in that shower area. Yeah. Are know. you sure you heard someone, Jason? He saw I saw them. them. I saw. He saw it. Like you someone. knew, and they someone. washed their hands and then left. Why did? Oh, why do you wash your hands coming out of the shower? Hands? What have you done they in the didn't shower? Go to the bathroom? Because no, there's no toilet. That's, is that a jerkatorium no, that we're no, not aware of? No, yes, no, man. Yes, because oh, people don't use so it as a shower. Is this a jerkatorium? It better not be. I hope they would have at least rinsed. Are you sure you saw? He's sure. <laughs> He's sure. Why are you questioning him? <laughs> I'm just laughing back. Is something you, wrong with you? you? <laughs> no, I just hallucinated. <laughs> no, I'm just human, kidding. I don't that a human was walking in the bathroom. <laughs> and I know it was from that way because you'd hear the door open, you know, and they came across. I just didn't see shoes. Yeah, if there's, there's a new Middle Eastern man working here, we're not isn't. giving him a very good welcome. No. He's like, no. Oh, we'll, have to, to we'll have to send in employee day. living in shower <laughs> and he's French. <laughs> They oh, all <laughs> make fun of me. <laughs> yeah. I am not Middle Eastern. <laughs> <laughs> I am not. <laughs> I just got back from Aruba. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get him. Well, yeah, the mystery continues. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Oh. I just, I know we, we haven't, haven't had one of these in a while. We long haven't time. hired anybody. I know like that a for sure. On our there show? is one. New there guy, apparently. Oh, I figured wow. we don't. How do we know? There's a new guy. There's I figured one, this is the way it is here. People six, come and go. Yeah, there's one. But it's six o'clock. Yeah, probably in the, one of the morning shows. Yeah, there is one. New right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Because everyone else has been. Fun. Yeah, is Ready? it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is it? Has it been? Con- <laughs> it, 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 has it been confirmed? It has. <laughs> so well, we've hired a Middle Eastern man to run a show. <laughs> And he was in the bathroom. Yeah, there's no one left, so. It's not the one Sherry's talking about. Oh! Okay, yeah, because, yeah. It's not the one who's been here a long time. Okay. Okay. I know I know him. It's not him. I know that guy, too. Oh, okay. This is. Andy, you know that guy. Yeah, yeah, I know that guy. Okay. I don't know anybody. Mm. No, nor do I know who's here. But there's someone right now upstairs in that shower. Pro- well, no, court just went up there. There was no one in there. Yeah, no, but you saw he ducked out. He turned the lights on. Would a new person know about all that up there? If they, they work caught a maneuver, there. oh, if right? they work they up there, they just got there. on the. They got to work yeah. early that day. You know what? Maybe it's a it. salesperson really up and really? at them, and like well, I'm gonna call going for it. No, no, I don't care today. what you say. There's no reason to be in the shower. Yeah, there's yeah. no reason to be in a dry shower. No, and there's no reason to be in that area of that bathroom. Right. 
like stalls you, as far as you need to go. The only thing you're doing is contemplating life in the back. Like there's that's weird. I don't know. I just it's I, just weird. What do you say to him if he's up there? You know, it's like, hey man, what are you doing? He's like, uh, you got me. I live here. <laughs> I don't know I what you say. You don't say anything. Show. I, you I can't start say asking anything. questions. I'm like, okay, well, how much are we making off of this? Mm-hmm. You know? We got to let people know. What kind of shoes do they? I he didn't see, see them. them. No. He didn't see, I didn't see them. Did they make knew a, that someone walked by but didn't see anything? Did they make a shuffly them. noise like they were sandals? I was so, it was more like, you know, when something traumatic happens and then you have trouble piecing. Yeah. The, like details the, the details together. together. Yeah. That's yeah. why yeah. humans yeah. are so shocking. We got to hypnotize because I thought I was yes. alone. Yes, you're right. We have to hypnotize <laughs> him. Go wide, we I just, it's, it's shocking. <laughs> <laughs> but hypnotize you. Need to hypnotize oh, you. Darkness. We don't need. Yeah, we won't go back too far. Okay, yeah, we'll go back too far. Yeah, like I'm, I was pooping and. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> a couple of thoughts were in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Hypnotherapy. Think back to when you saw the shoes. Uh, yeah. Jake has, uh, he's put together some clues here, oh, he thinks, from listening. Okay. Jake, what do you think? What do you think, Jake? Come on, Dave, he's a jerker. Yeah. If you put, if someone said he had an iPad. I think it was uh, Court. <gasps> yeah. So yeah. you're in the shower, a dry shower, right, with an iPad. You come out, you wash your hands. Yeah, but three and three. You put three and three together, and, you know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, what Why do you need am the I iPad for in the bathroom? I was wondering shower. this eBay. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, just porn. I need to wash I my mean, hands. I had an I'm iPad. I'm doing some investigating, and it's definitely a jerk. I'm telling yeah. you. Oh, okay. it really checks out. Did you hear any sounds, Jason, at all? Now, in hindsight, was there a slaps? No. Any the, kind of no rub skin no. on skin. Dead silent bathroom. Think you're by yourself. Well, as soon as a door opens, you stop jerking. Yeah, you freeze Chuck. up. No, Chuck. Nothing. No. It was a good like minute and a half, two minutes before that. That is weird. That the the time. Exited. Maybe someone just jelking. Jeez. Oh man, that's crazy. I'm making a lot of accusations here. <laughs> yeah, it's big in certain cultures. <laughs> Because it's was two he? different people. Like, like maybe it's two different people. Yes. See, I think it's two Court, different you hear people. Because Court saw somebody else. No. It's the call to prayer. He could have been praying. No. I don't think it's the same person. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Jelking. Over there? That was jelking. Okay. Oh, they're caught up in their own masturbation world. Over <laughs> there. It's not a masturbating. It's just jelking. A, a yes. bit together yeah, they are. Uh, on the side. Yeah. It's a filthy so, bit. A filthy bit. Get with it, guys. Yeah. Get with jelking. So, yeah. we're having a good time. Let those two boys jelk by themselves. It's only to elongate his oh, yeah. step. Yeah. <laughs> it's being not in certain cultures. Okay. Some of them take like a rolling pin. And <laughs> yeah. All right, well. The mystery Jeez. remains. I'll never know because I'm not going. Up Sherry's there looking at the key scan system to see if any there's been any weird oh. action, and then we'll see. Because if you we... do have to scan to get in. Well, you got to scan to get up. to get up. Yeah, you yeah. can't to get just up. get up so, there without. Not here though. Oh no, here. Yeah, you do. yeah, you do. You, yeah. you no, got so trapped get, in there. No. Yeah, I yeah. got trapped in. Yeah, you get trapped in there. Top and bottom. Top and bottom. Okay. All right. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, you know exactly how who was up there. Yeah. And at what time? I know what time I was in there. Yeah. 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 So it'll be like your time stamp. Right. And then whatever was right before that. Yeah. Make sure you get the tam- time stamp on me, pooping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sherry, Turns out Andy was not lying. I want to be exonerated. Sherry yeah. will be very busy <laughs> today. Yeah, we'll get, get to the bottom of this shower jerker situation. Well, we don't know if he was a jerker. Yeah, we're making now that we're just getting we... to the bottom of the shower situation. Right. Jerker or not. Well, yeah, what we're trying to figure out is if someone lives on the roof. That's all we're trying to figure that's out. That's all someone yeah, lives know. on yeah. the roof. Someone, I, I don't I, think that anyone was more lives my on concern. The... I wasn't concerned about a jerker so much as a squatter. Or I mean, it's I, hard to I'm get here in by here. Myself. You can't. Who's, Listen, who's... there's no one at the front door anymore. Okay, there's no one at the front door. Yeah, that would take a lot. Room. There's a lot of security here. Yeah, exactly. I know there's a no, lot. There of is security. a lot of security. Yes, but what I'm what I'm saying is it only takes one person to be laxed. You guys have such a wild imagination. Seriously. Last. Here's the thing. And not, and, I'm and sure you there's a logical explanation yeah. for this. I hope so. Someone walks in there the back is. door. I'm, I just assume they work here. I'm like 99% certain that in the history of this building, there have been people that they've been like, you're living here. You can't live here. <gasps> yes, I, I agree. I'm sure in every radio building. Yes, yeah. that <laughs> has happened. 
Yeah, because you can't afford to someone we swim. worked with would shower here. Because I've come close. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's extremely free to live here. Yes. Rate Dave and Chuck the Freak's Tasty Bits podcast on iTunes or Google Play. Subscribe now to Dave and Chuck the Freak's Tasty Bits podcast on iTunes or Google Play. And finally, in Celebrity Dirt. Something we've all been waiting for. I was hoping we wouldn't get to yeah, this. Yeah, how right. can oh, I not? I tried God. to extend it. Well, if anybody's yes. living up there, they're going to leave after this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Whoopi. <laughs> Whippy Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Whippy. Six. Wimpy. <laughs> Wimpy. Wimpy Goldberger. <laughs> Wimpy Goldberger. <laughs> she likes to be eaten. Out. Oh. <laughs> Mm. That's no, sixty-nine-year-old no, no. Whoopi Goldberg <laughs> shared during her birthday episode. Oh God! Of the View yesterday. How, how old did you say? Sixty-nine. Six oh, to the nine. Wow. Chuck. She's gonna say this. She enjoys a specific type of oral pleasure. Holy mm. cow! So uh, she's standing in front of a giant wheel of cheese. It was like Whoopi's favorite things. They were unveiling all of her favorite things. Her face is engraved on a giant wheel of cheese. Okay. And this is what happens. I like to be eaten from time to time. <laughs> you see all the guys? There was one guy in the audience that said, no. Never mind. This wheel is... <laughs> Par- that was a horrible, horrible moment in time. <laughs> I would like you to go back and look at the male reaction. There is one man in this crowd of just all women. At the view. At the view. He's been he told he had to go. <laughs> he, was like, he was told he had I to like go. To be eaten from time to time. Everyone's laughing it up. He is dead serious. <laughs> Right there. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. is like, no. <laughs> yeah, it's <that's, that's> disturbing. <laughs> he was like, hell no. Yeah. I ain't doing that. <laughs> I will not do it. <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> the rumors are true. I will not. Yeah, I mean, that could have got that Patrick Swayze ghost to leave if he would have oh, walked in Oh, yeah. That. Oh, my God. Walked right toward the light. <laughs> yep. I wouldn't even have to go right down. I'd even go downtown. <laughs> Like, get me down there. Wasn't she with Ted Danson for a while? Oh, no. I think she, you're right. He, yeah, she yeah, was. I remember Probably. that. Yep. A he long time, I feel like. They yeah. had a long time. He went down. Ted oh, yeah, he did. He went down. That makes it even more horrible. <laughs> <laughs> like, Ted Danson died there. <laughs> yep. It was like one piece of a horrible puzzle and then another piece of the horrible puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, no! Oh, <laughs> it's complete! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> she was down there on Ted. Ah, I know. I forgot all about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they did it. have a thing. Yep, for sure they did. Yeah, there you go. Whoopi Goldberg, oh. big fan of Cunnilingus. Wow. <laughs> wow. Enjoy your day. Uh-oh. <laughs> I like it. Mysterious person pooping in the dark. <laughs> yeah. Smelly foot fetish <laughs> creeper loose on the streets. Elusive man in silver spandex invading homes. Dave and Chuck share a local story in hopes that you can help solve the mystery. Dave and Chuck the Freaks, Unsolved Mysteries. Well, this one is a big mystery out of Green Lake, Wisconsin. We have been covering this story this past week. A father accused of faking his own death. The story has taken a big turn. Right. Uh Uh-huh. In case you missed it, authorities announced that Ryan Borgwart was missing back in August after not coming home from a kayaking trip, and they revealed that he may not be missing after all. It's been a roller coaster for the Green Lake County Sheriff's Office, and a new twist in the investigation is going to catch fire. Mm. Oh my! Did he not go to Uzbekistan? Yeah, that's what the last report we heard to see a lady. <laughs> that was the latest report that this man met a lady online and gave up his whole life 
yep. to go there to be with her. If this lady even exists, she, even if she, she is doesn't. a lady. She does yeah. not. Yeah, she's not she does not. 100% not real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No mystery there. Yeah. That's not the mystery part. <laughs> so he came up with this plan, allegedly, on faking this death by kayak. Yep. Keep but the big it, twist is this. What? Is he such an idiot that he gave an interview to a TikToker? What? Asking no. her if he should go to Uzbekistan. No. What? This is crazy. She's just he's on his bike. Uh-huh. <laughs> She's just interviewing people that go by. Hey. She has a sign that says, should you do it or something? Okay. He asks her, should I go to Uzbekistan or stay here? <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> Look, this uh, is the guy. Yeah. Here's. Yes, he did. You have to listen to this closely. What this guy says. Her you, sign says, ask me for, for free, free advice. advice. She's sitting. She's just a TikToker at the side. Asking people questions for content. Right. Mm, yep. Take a listen to what happens as he rides his bike past her and stops for an interview. This is up at DaveAndChuckTheFreak.com. If you can't see it there, look for the links on our social media pages. Any advice on anything? Do I go to Uzbekistan or stay here? <gasps> say that one more time. Do I go to Uzbekistan or stay here? Do you have family there? No. Why do you want to go? To meet a woman. Oh, to meet a woman. Wow, okay. Well, and it, it was as back- Uzbekistan. 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 You don't like American women? No, they're familiar. Oh. Mm. oh. So you've given up on meeting someone here? No, I'm married. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my you, God in heaven. You want to find a, dumb. someone else? Empty nest. I'm not sure. That's why I'm asking you. Wait, empty nest? What do you mean? Empty nest. My kids are out of, Wait. Out of the house now. So you want to find, uh, like, adopt a child? No. No, no. no lady. She's dumb. She's a TikToker. I'm find a companion that I'm content with. I think that requires you to divorce someone first. Well, well I don't think he thinks not that. All. Uh, someone in the background seen, swearing. Uh, so just have you know. guys had a conversation about that? Mm-hmm. So would it be like a thropple or something? No. Oh, thropple. <laughs> She's not the brightest. So you, yeah. would be, you guys would get a divorce, possibly. Possibly, yeah. Um, this guy is just telling this everything. random stranger his whole plan. I'm surprised he didn't life. say, Same. I'm going to fake, uh, should I fake my death? I'm, I'm surprised. Kayak? I'm surprised he didn't throw that he in. He might as well have. Yeah. He's an incredibly stupid. Well, we said that already, right? How mm. dumb could this guy be to fake this death? He had looked up all the stuff online. This woman in Uzbekistan, like we said, likely doesn't even exist. No, it's all a scam. No no. They just want his money, but he's taking his money and himself there. If best case scenario right now, he is tied up in a cave. Oh, that's yeah. The best. Not, that's not the, already dead. That, yeah, that's the best case scenario. I, mean, I, I feel like whatever he had on him, they just killed him and took it right away. Yeah. Or yeah. they're like, how can we get more? And then they're going to figure out he got rid of everything and. This guy's a doctor. Yeah. I mean, I think the biggest mystery of all is how one man sounds like, no matter what he says, that he's always yawning. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard a man yeah, sound he's like... so tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's back? Who's back? <laughs> I'm not content with my partner. <sighs> is that crazy? That's crazy. Um, like, how... If okay, okay, maybe this was before his. I'm gonna kill myself. Plan. He had a plan. He was thinking about it. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think there. I think he had because he was like, well, no. Yeah, like I don't no, have to get divorced. I don't have to for necessarily sure. get divorced. That is a weird fellow right there, man. Listen, so this weird. is a doctor, man. This is a this is a, someone with a doctorate, mm-hmm. and he's so dumb. And his wife would have probably gladly divorced. Yes. Oh. yes. You sound like you're yawning when you talk also. <laughs> Get out. Yeah, it's so weird, right? Like, I mean, I think sometimes, like, you think 
it's going to go so badly and stuff is going to be terrible for the rest of your life. And then it's not. It doesn't go badly. Did he not want to give her money? Did he? I mean, th- his, that's, that's what about his probably kids? it. But it's he, not. He's not still working as the doctor. You know what I mean? Like, it would make sense to me if I was like, I'm going to get divorced. I'm going to have to give this person half of my paycheck for the rest of my life. But that he's going to Uzbekistan. To do what? Like, they wouldn't track him down. I mean, he just there's a woman in Uzbekistan. Oh, yeah. No, we know that. Mm. Well, whatever. He believes yeah, I mean, He believes, not he believes a there's there. a woman. Yeah. There's not a woman there. But I'm, what I'm saying is. You go to Uzbekistan, you're not going to be a doctor in Uzbekistan. Yeah, for you're not financially, be, what will you do? Like, yeah, yeah. You know? You must have enough money. And unless the pictures of him with his kids are really old, he totally lied. Like, he said he's an empty nester. They don't, yeah, they don't look... They're uh, not. They look pretty young. Of age to oh, leave yeah. the house. Yeah. Uh, again, unless the pics are old that we're seeing. They could be. And they might be. Yeah, I mean, when, when you he's see... He's in contact with the woman over there. What? Sorry, he has a he has a woman in Uzbekistan. No, well, no, we but know, he believes that. that. But yeah. He believes yeah, that. He, yeah, was, he we believes was scammed. that. We, yeah. Oh, you think he's being scammed? Yeah. Yeah. He's contacting somebody though. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. definitely it's, a group it's of a men. Man. Three Uzbekistan. <laughs> yeah. It's men. definitely <laughs> Uzbeki criminals. <laughs> There's a noun in Uzbekistan. <laughs> Cord, don't yeah. fall for a woman in Uzbekistan. Yeah. 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 Cord, yeah. Yeah. There is no woman there. Cord, there's no one. He could erase your DMs. Yeah, she would want to come here. Yeah, right. there would be of no course. reason for him to yeah. go there. Let's I just want to get out of that guy. That guy was whole yeah. way of being on that bike and the way he was talking to that chick was just so off-putting. He's, I'm just a man that's unhappy with my head in the clouds of riding a bike around. I mean, listen, thinking I was back as well. I've been super unhappy, and I and I haven't just like pulled over to some TikToker and <laughs> just told them my whole life story. I know it's weird. You know, <laughs> super unhappy, like super super unhappy. You know. That is so bizarre. It's all like so crazy. How could you be that dumb? I don't know. Yeah. Was well, it TikTok from Wisconsin or something? Or was he somewhere else? San Diego. Okay. He was on vacation there. Apparently. Oh. Wow. Yeah, he didn't he didn't think that through. That was when he was starting to feel like, wow. And I guess you just I've assume do this, yeah. no one yeah. will ever see this, right? Maybe. That's but the, even then, if, that's I'm going, asinine. If, if my plan then was to fake my death, mm. I'm a, I'm an unbelievable idiot to tell someone yeah. part of that plan. Yep. <laughs> I'd love to know. You'll never know probably ever but because the, they faked their death. But I wonder how many people successfully faked their death. Okay, here's a question. Do the cops, did the cops know about this video when they started to say all the stuff about Uzbekistan, like did this video Maybe surface? Maybe it made the news, and then this, this woman came forward with the and video. Then, and then, that's what I was. And saying. now they're yeah. like, he went to Uzbekistan to meet a woman. I think that's probably what happened. This woman's like, oh my god, I talked to a guy yeah. who was going yeah. to Uzbekistan because yeah. it stood out. You yeah. know, it's an unusual. It's real weird question to ask. Well, she didn't. She was like, it was 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 what was? Oh yeah, Robert no, Robert? she had no idea. <laughs> yeah. She'd never no. heard that word. No. But uh, Uzbekistan, yeah, <laughs> we'll never see this guy again or no. Law no. enforcement saw the video and said it's not him. Yeah, but then they issued another statement. Yeah, and they're saying still investigating. They're still investigating. Yeah, it looks like it's him. him. It's him. But like, why would you? I don't, I don't know. know. I'm real good at that. But I, I think that's interesting when somebody actually does it, <laughs> fakes their death. I thought about it, <laughs> Chuck. You <laughs> know, you just. Check out. Go to Uzbekistan. Maybe some place else. Yeah, I would not go to Uzbekistan. That is not the place to go. No. No, 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 no. But also, I do think like there are certain places that people aren't going to bother looking for you. Yeah. And one of them might be Uzbekistan. And he did kind of allude to the fact, whether it was BS or not, that his, his wife kind of knew. Not that he was going to fake his death, possibly, but that he was speaking to someone else. Yeah. Or that they were, at least that he was unhappy with the current state of their relationship. What would be wild in this if he's just dead? Yeah, I mean, like, I'm. Well, that's I feel a possibility. Like yeah, I feel like, like, he, but I mean, oh, in the lake. Oh no, that yeah. guy that oh, yeah, no. investigated said that he's not there. I know. I mean, he, he went saw all the through lines. it. He, he always that finds whole people. Lake. Yeah, no, he's not there for months. It's been three and plus months. they had a passport and everything. Yeah, a fa- 
Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. right. They know that yeah. he crossed through right. to he's Canada and yeah. then to Europe. Here. He's, he's dead, dead in there. And Uzbekistan. Oh, he's dead there for sure. If yeah. he's there, he's dead. Yeah, yeah, he was chopped up and fed to pigs. <laughs> 1,000. He's, he's gone. There'll be no trace of him in Uzbekistan. No. That is for sure. They were so excited. They're like, we've got the doctor. Yes. And then he, <laughs> he's like, well, I quit. I gave all my money away and I faked my own death. And they're like, kill him. Kill him. <laughs> Feed him. There's yeah. nothing we got. We got nothing. Yeah. Kill him. But an unbelievable story. And we'll have to see how it continues to play out. I, I don't know where it goes from here. As you say, he's, if he's in Uzbekistan, he's probably <laughs> dead. So, and do you send American investigators to no. Uzbekistan? No, you don't. No. Not for that guy. No, that's China. why you go. If you're going to do this, if you really are dumb enough to do this, it's it's one of the countries people won't chase you. Yeah. Well, in this next story, I can kind of relate to the guy who fired a bullet because you insult my dog <laughs> and I may just shoot you. This guy claims that after he critiqued a dog in Philly, the owner shot him. Well, those are fighting words. Oh. Here's the story of how it played out now from ABC6. Earlier today, Rick, he's out of the hospital and now he's telling his story. He says this whole thing happened after a comment that he made about another man's dog. Bow! I'm like, I'm like, yo, you shot me? That was the moment Darnell Henry nearly died. You can see his arm is in a sling now after the bullet went through his shoulder. It hit me right here. So I'm, like, I'm not really feeling it. I didn't even know the bullet was here. He says he was outside watching TV in front of his house on West Oakdale Street in Strawberry Mansion mm -hmm. yeah. early on Sunday morning, November 3rd. Now, according to Henry, his dog Bella walked up to 56-year-old Paul Sanders, who was walking his own dog at the time, and Sanders did not want the dog near him. At one point, Henry tells us that he mentioned that the man's dog looks skinny and believes that's why he came back with a friend a few minutes later and shot him. I'm more angry than anything like... Yo, like, really? We couldn't over a dog talk, bro? A dog talk? I think they've had some this conversations in the so past, I possibly. Think a lot of about how he talks a lot. About, I think there's a lot going on there. Probably ran into him before, and it yeah. just was the I think both of the them build have got up stuff, to it. You know? Over a dog talk, bro? <laughs> dog talk! <laughs> I'm just outside watching TV on the sidewalk like you do. You know what I don't ever say, though? Like, you know, I would never be like, Dog is really skinny. Yeah. yeah. Real skinny dog. Like, I would not no. badmouth anyone's dog. Well, no, but this guy, talk. I mean, look at I mean, Yeah, he no, just he's, talks yeah, a lot no, I get crap. it. Yeah. I think he's outside watching TV so he can yes, talk Yes, exactly. He can have everyone everybody walking who walks by. by. Yeah. 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 <laughs> just caught up to him. Real skinny dog. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, other the shoes. Uh, where'd you get that jacket? Yeah. <laughs> he, Elf. But talking about how his dog will be my no, feed your dog, and walk away. I get a bullet for that? After the shooting, police say Sanders and 20-year-old Tannen Fitzpatrick walked away from the scene and barricaded themselves inside of a home on North sure. 23rd Street. We were there when the SWAT team entered that home and arrested the two who are now facing a number of charges, including aggravated assault. It's upsetting, man. It's, it's really upsetting, man. I could have died right there. Like, literally, y'all could have died over a dog talk. Henry's still dog waiting talk. to hear from police about the next steps in the process, and he's trying to figure out why something so simple escalated into a shooting. I just don't understand how people just run to a gun. Philly, it's no love in this joint, man. This ain't the city of brotherly love. Now, Darnell Henry says he's still waiting on police to contact him to get his side of this story to, about exactly what happened. Police tell me that both the suspects remain behind bars tonight. Didn't you have some kind of walking encounter? Oh, with uh, someone who made a... a just how big he was, maybe? Yeah, like some yeah, kind of comment about it. Out. Yeah, they made a comment about yeah, was dog. Upset, You can understand. But... No, I do. I, I've never shoot anybody over it. No. No, that man has been missing since, but you'd never yeah, shoot him. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> He's gone. He's yeah. never been heard of. No. His kayak overturned. Never oh, seen wow. again. Well, he, never. I guess he went to Uzbekistan. <laughs> yeah. Must have. Yeah. That's what people do. That's yeah. what they do. Yep. Never heard of him. No, I mean, 
This guy, Something this guy has he his said own issues. Mo- he said a little bit more yeah. to that person too than just feed your Probably dog. Like, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. You yeah. shouldn't talk about people's dogs. Don't ever. Mention Why would you? Don't talk to dogs. people. Why yeah. are you talking right. to no. people on the street? Mm-hmm. You just yeah. Because you're right. This up. is what he does. This is why he this set is, up. Yeah. He was going to be shot by <laughs> someone. Watch TV. It's a wild, watch TV like, inside. Why does he put his TV in his window? So he can, I, don't I don't know. know. I don't know. It's a wild thing to be like, I'm going to go watch TV outside. <laughs> you can't even really see <laughs> the TV outside. You know, like it's, like, it's no. too bright. You can't. <laughs> no. You can't even see. <laughs> it's not even enjoyable. <laughs> It's like you're squinting. I think they live. I think they called the play the. They live outside of a place that I believe is called Strawberry Mansion. Yes, that's yeah. what it's called. Yep, something spread probably yeah. bad. So I don't know. It is something you shouldn't do. Don't speak to sidewalk men. Mm. Yeah, or especially say stuff about their dogs. No, for sure. No, it sounded like that guy's dog was off a leash too and ran up to that other guy's dog, but I don't know. Oh yes, <laughs> they definitely had an, a dog. Uh, it wasn't a dog talk, right? Over a dog talk? Yeah. Yeah. It was a dog (laughs) argument. Listen here. You should probably never mix extreme boredom with nine guns. Mm -hmm. Why? A police officer in New Hampshire uh, stopped along a highway the other day when he saw an abandoned vehicle. When he got out, he heard gunshots. He called for backup. Turns out a guy was shooting at a tree in the woods with nine guns. Here's that story from WMUR-TV. Last night around 11.30, a Brentwood police officer was patrolling along North Road near 101 and the Wildlife Management Zone. He came upon an abandoned vehicle. Upon checking the abandoned vehicle, he heard what he believed to be gunfire. He called in backup, and when the second Brentwood officer arrived, they heard more shots, which sounded rapid or like they were coming from automatic firearms which then caused them to uh, request the assistance of multiple other agencies until they could figure out what exactly was going on. Several departments responded and set up a perimeter. State police assisting, too, with traffic on 101. Upon setting up the perimeter, they were also able to learn who the individual in question was. So they were able to make contact with him by phone, also using the PA system on the cruiser to call him out of the woods. The man came out of the woods without incident. He was shooting a small tree. In the ground around the tree. Police seized nine guns from him. He was arrested and later released. It is not illegal to shoot in there. However, based on the totality of the circumstances, um, the timing and everything else involved, um, that's where the charges were derived from. And police are not releasing the identity of the suspect at this time, but he is facing charges. Right now he's looking at um, charges for reckless conduct, um, disorderly conduct, and there are more to come. Police say they were not familiar with the suspect and he was in the woods alone. He's not connected to the abandoned vehicle and police say Mm. there was no threat to the public. In Brentwood, Kelly O'Brien, WMUR. I don't understand this. I don't know why he's being charged. Because it's not illegal to do that. So just because a cop heard it and got excited and called for backup. Reckless behavior. Because disorderly conduct. When I'm metal detecting out in the boonies. I don't want to shock people, but it's all you hear. Hmm. I mean, there are just some farmers out there that their kids or whoever else, they have got a lot of guns and they are firing guns. Be careful. In their backyards. He said he wasn't doing it. I don't, I mean, I don't understand if his firearms weren't illegal, why they seized all his guns either. I mean, this is a a weird one, man. Yeah, it is. It is weird. Out in the country, but it is funny to think of the cop rolling up. The guy's like... And he's like, it's a war zone, man! Yeah, set a yeah. helicopter, set a SWAT team, set a van! Yeah. Like, yeah. I just owe my stuff from my basement. <laughs> wow. I mean, I, there are plenty of guys around my parts that got a plenty of guns. Yeah. Like, it's not that nuts. Most of them would go to the range, though. Yeah, I mean, you know, but he, when you're in the boonies, man, he wasn't trespassing. I just feel like the cops were like, we got to charge him with something. He's got nine guns. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe something uh, maybe something happened in the exchange mm-hmm. of, like, the come on out. Yeah. You know? Right. Like, maybe somebody's about- battling a predator. I don't know. What- <laughs> I know. <laughs> What's going it's on It's like that here? one scene where they <laughs> yeah. just... Mowed down the right. entire jungle. Use every that poor tree. <laughs> yeah, that tree. The tree was like, I give up, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I give up. 
and bought a treat. <laughs> yeah. You can go check out the story. Uh, if it's not at DaveAndChuckTheFreak.com yet, you can see it through links on our social media pages. Well, this guy, man, he really is an idiot criminal. A bank robber put a pillowcase over his head to hide his identity but forgot to cut eye holes in it. <laughs> oh, God, you can't see. <laughs> you cannot see. Uh-oh. And he did have to pull it off when he kept bumping oh, into things and couldn't really see. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that's where we're at. Matthew Davies failed to create eye holes in the cover ahead of the armed raid at a bank in the UK. The 47-year-old who threatened staff with a meat cleaver left the branch. Actually, he got away with about 2,000 British pounds Wow. Of course, they got this idiot, and he pleaded guilty to a charge of assault and robbery. A hearing at the high court in Glasgow heard how he entered the Bank of Scotland branch, pulled the meat cleaver from the pillowcase, and then put the pillowcase on his head. But when he realized he couldn't see and kept bumping into things, he pulled the pillowcase off. He threatened staff. He was given about 300 pounds but demanded more. Damn. He then battered a glass partition with the meat cleaver and got about 1,980 pounds more. Mm. A witness just followed him to his house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, what, That's what you do. <sighs> they found the cash there with the pillowcase consistent with what he put over his head. They also discovered a stun gun. He has been remanded in custody ahead of his sentencing in a couple of months. Yeah, it's probably a slightly insane person. I think over there, everything is recorded on, like, they have, like, CCTV or whatever they call yeah, it, where yeah. it's just, uh, you know, and it stemmed from, like, football hooligans. They wanted to follow them home from, uh, you know, games where they attacked somebody. But the whole place is monitored. Any you moment just you can don't, get any, yep, anything. You yeah. never get away with anything no. there. It's like live monitored too. They yeah, have like yeah. a dude in a room watching all like streets and stuff. So like there was no way he was getting away with this. I don't know what he was thinking. Well, he's so look at how dumb he is. Yeah, yes. no, I know, right? I know. It is nice to know that everyone's getting dumb. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's not the world. Just, just us. us. It's everybody's yeah. dumb. Mm-hmm. For Which sure. Which is good. Well, there's a couple in Dallas. They made the dumb decision of ordering fiery drinks. Mm. When they went out and they paid the price, hmm. it left them with third degree burns. They've got some gnarly, gnarly injuries from these flaming pineapples or whatever the hell they ordered. <laughs> I, listen, I, I saw one go wrong one time, so they go can wrong. go wrong. Happened at the bar for me. The whole table, like the napkins caught on fire. I had to bring pitchers of water and douse everybody. <laughs> wow. Flaming Tiger Peppers, man. It's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was serving them like, sorry, guys. Thankfully, you didn't set people on fire. Yeah. No, it was I put it out. This guy quick. did, and now uh, they are filing a lawsuit. Sure. Here's the story from WFAA-TV. Third degrees here. Looking in the mirror. They had to shave my head in the hospital to make sure they had access to the ear and to the scalp where it was burned. Much harder now. Oh, my Please God. Oh, oh, my gosh. Uh, one of the skin grafts. Then two months ago for this Dallas couple, now living in discomfort, recovering from first, second, third degree burns on their upper body. That moment gets replayed more than it should. And it's all because of this fiery drink order, they say, at the Texas Trick on Cedar Springs. My skin was falling off of my arms. Abby Hans Briscoe and her partner Dustin Duddy Johnson are suing the owners of that bar. In a lawsuit filed in Dallas County, the pair says they stopped in to have a drink on August 26th. Johnson ordering the flaming pineapple, an Everclear cocktail, unaware it came with a garnished lime on fire. When it was presented to us, I was like, oh, cute, cool, it's on fire. Abby snapping this picture before the bartender added more Everclear to the drink and lit the drink oh, itself no. with the torch per the oh, lawsuit. No. And he goes, I'll give it a little more and lit the Everclear on fire in our direction. 
The drink ignited, shattering the drink glass and spreading fire to the couple per the lawsuit. Moments of panic, pain and terror, the couple says. You can see that exact line of where my sleeves are. Oh my God, he was so on fire. felt like hours as they tried to put the flames out. Abby's injuries, the worst. They literally had to cut my bra off of me because it was melted into my skin. Both were rushed to Parkland's burn unit. Johnson's beard saving some of his skin. He was hospitalized for several days, but Abby was there for seven weeks, received three skin grafts, and got sepsis, which is impacting her ability to walk. One little choice of a restaurant can make all that life-changing difference. The Texas trick has since closed down. Their attorneys responding to the couple's lawsuit, denying the allegations, and saying that they failed to provide facts to support them. The TABC doesn't have any rules or regulations about serving fiery drinks. Abby says there should be some. I remember saying going into the ambulance, like, you can't separate me from him. He's all I have. She and Johnson both walking through this chapter, through pain, together. In Dallas, I'm Matt Howerton. So the where where it happened in my life was this little college bar. It was like one of those places you'd go and just have like a couple of pints at. Every once in a while, someone would order this drink that w- they would light it on fire and then they'd pour it. Well, they'd pour it in your mouth. You would put your head up and then they would light your mouth on fire <laughs> and then they would sprinkle like uh, cinnamon over top and it would make like a uh, fiery little that's stupid show yeah. okay someone's doing that but then they c- couldn't breathe or something for a second and they <coughs> cough and it as they're lighting it like a flame thrower? flames shoot out <laughs> like a, like one of those like flaming performers oh yeah, yeah. like a fire breath. people yeah. are on fire the tables on fire Wow, well, the cinnamon—that's risky. Cinnamon will yeah. make cinnamon. Did you swallow I swallow that. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Well, it all burned up, but it, I don't know if it made her sneeze or or what. I just don't know how, a, as a business owner, you would ever even remotely consider that. I know a flaming a drink, flaming and then, drink, or yeah. anything like that with fire. Well, like you saw, they just have chains on their doors now. Like they're, they're like done. they were like we're done. Like there's no way we're gonna well, survive yeah. this. We sold so many, and it was like. A, a shot of something in 151 and then you uh, it's like amaretto and you drop it into Ooh. Miller Lite and then you drink it. It's like a like a flaming Dr. Pepper bomb or something. Yeah. And we would carry trays of like 15 to 20 of these things all on fire and put them on the table and there's <laughs> napkins. So uh-huh. I'm, I'm laughing because like if that would have happened, yeah, no. I don't know what I would have done if everyone's up in flames. If you set a whole table <laughs> on fire. Horrible. That's yeah. horrible. I mean, there's third people with water, dude. Pictures like, oh, my! And like, everyone's soaking wet. I'm yeah, like, but at least oh, they you weren't saved on fire. The day. Yeah, yeah. It's terrifying. She's doing everything right. Got the walker. Got oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he yeah, didn't mention is. he couldn't get hard anymore. Oh, yeah, but... no. His beard got burned off, though. That'll yeah. you know, probably affect his boner. Yep. I know mine's tied to it. Mm. <laughs> the beard saved him. Yeah. It did kind of save yeah, him because you saw screwed. how how burned her neck yes. was. That looked so She'll have scars the rest of her life. So bad. So the waiter was like, "That's not enough fire." Yeah, oh. 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 because of their reaction, right? The guy yeah. was like, "Oh yeah, that's cool, I guess." Yeah, right. Oh. And that's yeah. where the waiter's cool. like, "Oh yeah, you want fire?" Yeah, <laughs> he I actually burned you guys alive. Fire. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yikes. Uh, Byron is with us in Mount Clemens. Hi, Byron. Yeah, you doing penis balls? Penis. Balls? What's your comment? And I had something like that just happen to me uh, about, probably about 15, 20 years ago now. A girl I was dating at the time, she brought her friend over with my brother, and we're sitting there, and I had some Everclear, and she said she'd never had a flaming shot before. So I poured her one, but she didn't know that you had to blow the flames out first. Oh, no. Oh, no. I watched, I watched the flames go all the way from her lips down to her feet. And her mom threatened to take me and sue me, but um, I just bought her a bunch of cream and antiseptics, and we were good to go. Yeah, oh, that's it. Yeah, there you go. Some no cream. lawsuit here. Here's some yeah. cream. <laughs> cream. <laughs> antiseptic. <laughs> yep. Yep. Done. <laughs> Sometimes that's all you need. Uh, Case dismissed. Yeah. Yeah. No uh, lawyer necessary. I've gone to CVS. <laughs> oh. Order in the card. Order in the yeah. card. He went to CVS. Yeah. Antiseptic. Case dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> Cream ointments. Yeah, that's all you need. That's all you need. <laughs> Download Dave and Chuck the Freaks Tasty Bits podcast on iTunes or Google Play.
Leave a rating for Dave and Chuck the Freak's Tasty Bits podcast on iTunes or Google Play. Here's a question for you right now if you want to join the conversation with us. What's something odd you find attractive? Non-sexual. Something odd, non-sexual, you find attractive. They asked men and women what they thought about this. We'll get to some of their answers in a moment. If you have something and you want to share it with us, 1-855-954-6969. That's the number to reach us. 1-855-954-6969. You can also text us at 46969. This woman said, uh, a guy checked that all my doors and windows were locked. Biggest turn on ever. Or like he's this. neurotic. Right. Yeah. yeah. yeah I do or that. it's just OCD. OCD. Yeah. It is OCD. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's cute now. Wait, you know. Oh, yeah. Like every day he's, he's yeah, doing like that. The oven. I got to go back inside the oven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did I turn the lights on? This one's weird. A male colleague would always whisper when he came in first thing in the morning and it was dark and quiet and just the two of us at work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Strangely hot. Hey, good morning. Hi. Don't do that, Dave. Oh, I'm doing that it. to you tomorrow. Yeah, do, no, it to no, no, do it to him. No, no, no. Do it to him. You're not allowed. Everyone, no. your first encounter with Dave, you must whisper. No. Dim the lights first. No. Yeah, turn them oh, no. off. Oh, do not. Uh, <laughs> do not. Dim, there you no. go. Oh, oh, don't do it. How don't you do doing, it. Dave? Nope. <laughs> Welcome. I could strike. I could strike. Oh, I love doing the show like this. I, I wish Dave could see. You can't read, but it's so nice in here. Oh, this is kind of nice. It's easy on the eyes. So easy. Oh, night lighting. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah. even Jesus got oh, yeah. his lights oh, out. Helps or even creepy yeah. lit up by the screens. <laughs> I like it. Morning, no, Dave. please don't whisper to me. Good morning, Dave. I hope you slept well. Not. Nice. I, I wish I was in your dream. Okay. Oh, and then fire the uh, lights back up. Uh, oh. Boo. Um, this guy says, uh, Ken says, um, not sexual, but I love a woman that reads out loud. Hmm. I don't. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird behavior. Like, would I wouldn't you like, like a that. woman to read to like you. Like, read to you would be read to me. Yeah, that's weird. No, <laughs> like a, not a story. I can, Maybe I, guess, I don't know. People yeah. read to each other, right? If they're reading something from an yeah. article, well, you'll yeah, read you it. can tell me that. You can be like, you're not you going to believe these facts. And they said this, and yeah. But, but if you're like, book, I don't know. The castle was strangely lit <laughs> right. in the backdrop. Story. There was this one audio book I had, and the woman had the sexiest voice ever. Distracting, yeah, yeah, and but I could listen to her. Oh, read. you liked it? Yeah, yeah, no, it was pleasant. Chat GPT used to have the sexiest voice ever. Nah, it was used to Scarlett uh, Johansson. Used to clone, mm. gone. Yeah, that's a weird one. I that, don't care about so that. So sad. <laughs> this woman said uh, something odd. I find attractive when a guy ties a tie. You hate watching me do it because it's just <laughs> God. Yeah. or when like we just talked about with right. you with the YouTube video. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. the same step up to the right. <laughs> Loop through the neck. Careful, ladies. Settle down, easy, oh, easy, ladies. Easy. Settle down. Round. Wait, no, start over. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. <laughs> Miss, uh, misjudged. Right. Um, off the belly button. <laughs> Vern uh, said, "I find a woman with a slight overbite or a lisp very attractive." Those dudes probably really appreciate that. Oh yeah, big time. Lisp. There's always somebody like for everybody, you know. Easy. <laughs> yeah. Easy. Oh, oh my God, God. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You sound so attractive. I don't think baby. I could. I couldn't do it. <laughs> Not for everyone. Uh, Terry is in Detroit. Terry, something odd that you find attractive? Right. So it's going to sound messed up at first, but I'll explain it. Okay. Um, I really like the fact that my girlfriend can laugh at some of the messed up things and like the trauma that I've been through in my life. It's not in like a mean way. But, um, She's, I went through like a lot of messed up stuff as like a kid. Don't tell us oh, about yeah, it. No, I don't know. Who doesn't want to hear it and laugh? No, no. Uh, not and a but it's good that it. she has a sense of humor about yes. it all. No, no, no. Yeah. She has a sense of humor. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like most people, if I talk to them about it, right. Uh, cause it's like already hard for me to be a bit social about it. Cause like people ask me like, Oh, you know, what did you do as a kid? And I'm like, well, you know, Oh yeah, no. My parents didn't treat me the best. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, no, you want to talk? Like, you want to tell us, huh? I you know just really want to tell us. No, just don't. Please don't. Menendez brother, please don't. No, I don't even <laughs> like it. <laughs> all right, I don't want right. Well, it, it, it's not like anything that would be bad on the radio, but like, but just bad for your life. It's a bit of a bummer. 
Yeah. It's just it's just a bit of a bummer is yeah, all. Like, right. you know. But she'll laugh but, like, about it and that's what it she'll, is. She'll she'll laugh and joke about it like I'll t- can I tell you guys like one thing? No, it's not like no, why do you no, want to tell us? No, We're not your therapist. No, no, this is a funny show. We don't want to know. We all have guy, childhood stuff. Talk to this guy anymore. Come on. I don't want to talk the to him. The point is, I don't want to talk to him. The point is, I don't want to talk to him. Okay. I'm not even. I'm turning him off because I don't want to talk to him anymore. I don't even care. I have the phone power and I'm going to turn it off. What's happening? Right I don't want to talk to this guy. He really wants to tell us. He wants to tell us, and I don't want to know what. What happened Let to the Menendez brother speak? I am not going to. I'm keeping it off. Why do you Hang want to up talk on to him? him? Hang up. I feel bad for I'm not guy. talking to bad. him. Fine. Fine. Sorry, I'm not going to talk. See I you later, bud. You off. His, there we go. The, the point of it is yeah, his girlfriend has a sense of humor about his child to trauma. trauma. Yeah. And right. That's was, all we had to hear. God, but we don't need to hear a story about it. He really wanted He was that money. God. He told me. You want me to tell you? No. Turn him off. I can turn him off too. Turn his mic off. He is. It's off. He can't <laughs> talk. I don't think. I did have empathy for the man. Maybe he's still getting No, I, I have empathy. Okay. That's fine. Okay. But we all, like, this isn't the place to talk about that, <laughs> really, <laughs> mm. right now. Reach out to online therapists. Um, yeah. Yeah. Someone said, um, we're talking if you just joined us. <laughs> this is not. Tell us when you were touched. This is uh, oh God. Yeah, something starting that way. Yeah, huh? <laughs> what, something odd you find attractive. Oh, something odd you find attractive. Oh, it's not even close. That couldn't even get close to that. Okay, um, backward hats. That's lighter. <laughs> That's lighter. <laughs> Fred Durst. That's lighter. Yeah, Fred Durst. <laughs> we went from that. Okay. Oh my God. Backward hat. I had a lot of trauma, and we. Oh, backwards hat. <laughs> Oh my god! I don't even know. <laughs> don't know what Nothing lasts forever, you know. No, it really no, doesn't. doesn't. You are so right. No, diabetes nope. alarms going off. And time to go. Diabetes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was. I haven't heard it in a while. Did you turn the notifications off? No, I'm oh, leaving man. it on. Uh, <laughs> that guy must not be close. I'll just never forget when Lisa said, "I can see your chart." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we're, the, we're good now. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Put your chart away. I can see your chart. <laughs> your chart. You're showing your everyone chart your, your, sh- your chart. Your chart is yeah. showing. <laughs> you do. It's called. It's called <laughs> sharding. <laughs> it's when you you accidentally show your chart to everybody. Oh, yep. no. oh no. He <laughs> sharded <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> he just he showed his chart. Sharded he all sharded. over the room. <laughs> Stop, I don't want to see it. Ah, uh, damn. I saw his chart. It looks like he ate a pop chart at about 11 o'clock at night. Oh, bad choice. Bad choices. Take two. Woo, <laughs> woo. Okay. Yeah, this thing goes off all night. So the question for you, if you want to join the conversation with non- Childhood trauma calls. Uh, yeah, something odd you find attractive. One eight five five nine five four six nine six nine. Now I just want people to call no, in. No, don't, and don't ruin we can't. Dave's day. No, one eight five five nine five four. Tell us your real. It almost your tell day us more than Dave. Well, yeah, because yeah. that's awful. Like, because why know. even? Why? I know. Like, okay. why would we I'm ever? With you. Okay. Uh, I understand. My God. One eight five five nine five four six nine six nine is the number. You can text us at four six nine six nine. Other people are saying this. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you guys doing? You were fine, thanks. Thanks for calling in. What's yeah. your uh, what's something odd you find attractive? Okay, let me just <laughs> let me preface this by saying you're not gonna understand. Oh uh, uh, no, it, we're keeping it light, just let so me you know. Pre- preface this by saying it's not going to make a lot of sense until I explain uh, it all. Okay, no, <laughs> that's not what we need here. So We're looking for like backward when I was young, or I was an altar boy. <laughs> okay, no. I'll oh, do it. this I'll is just. <laughs> when I was young, I was an altar boy, in. and I believed in a superhero, no, and his name no, was Jesus. No, no, goodbye. And then the priest told me to meet that him in the side room. Oh, my no, God. No, no. Oh, and my no. friend went in first, and then I heard him crying. No. <laughs> we got to go, man. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for calling. A lot more, lot more no, to talk about. You want me to it. still tell you? Okay. Because no. then what happened okay, is I gotta walked go, in. Okay, gotta go, man. I walked in there. Okay. And uh oh. Uh oh. Bye. Bye. See you later. Okay, let's go to uh, Dwayne. Bad drama. Hi, Dwayne. Something odd you find attractive? Rip cord. Rip cord. Well, besides that, yeah. women who work on cars. <laughs> there you go. I, I don't know what it. I don't know what it is. 
but a lady who looks all night like a lady in print, and then you see her again, she's got a pair of coveralls on under the hood of a car. It's like, hello, mom, I'm getting married. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nice. Appreciate that. that. Yeah. They are okay. suggested to me from time to time on some of my social media. There's like one girl who like signs her name with like a grinder on cars. Hmm. Um, I don't know what she does, but she's attractive and she obviously knows what she's doing. Does some car yeah. stuff, you know, and I think she has a lot of guys like her. I don't I'm know sure. who she is, but she is suggested. They're like, you should get into this person. But, you know. Let's go to Justin, who's in Boston. Justin, something odd you find attractive. Uh, when girls try to pop my pimples, I'll be at work, and then, you know, they'll see one. They're like, oh, can I pop your pimple? I kind of find it odd. Mm. When they're, when you are oh. at work, women at your work try to pop your pimples. There you go. Thank God. Yeah. Hey, yeah that's and go. that's going to do it for us here on Dave and Chuck the Freak. <laughs> Thanks for joining remember. us, and we'll talk to you next time. Uh, no, I got another no, one. No, no, no. <laughs> No, 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 don't go. Don't no. let me go. I got to no. tell you this other story. I was in no. high school. Goodbye. It was ninth grade. Goodbye, Mr. It was Touched. ninth grade. <laughs> okay. And uh, we all had to meet okay. with priests, and we had to tell them what our confessions <laughs> That's were. That's all right. And the priest said to me, Just show me where he touched you. Do you masturbate? Okay, bye. And uh, I was all like, all wow, I don't know. And then I okay. went and asked all my friends, and they okay. said they were all asked the all same right. exact question. See All right, later. see you guys. Bye. 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 See you later, guys. I got until I think of another one. Okay. That's also that Lyle was real Eric? and that really or, happened. Right, bye. No, bye. Cole's in Wisconsin. Hi, Cole. <laughs> Hello, Cole. Cole. Oh, I turned it off. Cole. Oh, sorry, Cole. Hi. Hey. So go hey. ahead. Uh, something odd you find attractive. Yep. Well, um, this is an answer from uh, Over the Rainbow, but um, what I like is when a guy <laughs> lifts his arms and a little bit of his uh, belly pokes out. I don't know. Oh, Something Chuck loves that, too. Chuck loves that. Oh, <laughs> Chuck just, Chuck's pulling his belly out for you now. If only you oh, could see you it. Could see him. Only you could see oh. it. Yeah. A little bit of a treat for that everyone is. in the room. <laughs> when I'm trying to tempt my lady, that's what I'm yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Like out. All right, Cole, thanks for go. calling it, man. Have a good day. Take it in. It's uh, like certain phases of the moon. <laughs> Crescent moon. Someone said eye patches I oddly find attractive. Oh, eye patches, huh? That's crazy. That's weird. Uh, someone else said when my fiance comes home and finds me organizing or cleaning, she is instantly turned on. Hmm. Organizing her cleaning. Organizing or cleaning. Oh, oh or yes. cleaning. Organizing oh, okay. or cleaning. Um, Hayden is in Michigan. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, tell us something odd you find attractive. I suppose it's not odd, but prepare to peg, fellas. How you oh, doing? Oh, yeah, prepare, prepare to, to peg. peg. Um, but I find it unironically really attractive when girls are really, really, really good at singing with, like, out any vocal training, without, like, any professionalism behind it like i i don't know just a girl who can naturally sing is just wildly attractive okay yeah i mean i do you know i mean it's talent talent i think it happens on the other side i think that women just like a guy who can sing up on stage there's something to do it this woman's had big one for me is if they can play guitar find me any man attractive or not and if they can pick up an electric guitar and effortlessly play i will swoon hmm yeah, I mean, all the guys that I knew that were, like, really good at it and just didn't use it, they did not use that as, like, a that would be, like, my whole end game. My whole end game would be to somehow get me in a room with a guitar if I was good at it. I mean, like, that's one of the, uh, if you're, like, an unfortunate-looking dude, that's one of your things, you do. one of your weapons of choice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You get real good at that. Yep. During so your lonely time. Said exactly. people with good <laughs> posture. Oh, you gotta sure. have good posture. I don't see that a lot. You no, know, no. A lot of people as have bad I lean posture. Over. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. That's job. Mm-hmm. Yep. Work on it. I try to. Uh, Brandon's in Attica. Hi, Brandon. How you doing? doing Penis it? balls, guys. Penis. Balls. Something odd you find attractive. Well, ever since I was young, I always loved guns, man. And 
any woman that can handle and shoot a big gun is always a uh, A plus in my book for sure. Yeah, they do well. The girls that'll be in the bikinis and shooting the guns, like they yeah. always do, do well on social media. Mm. There's no question. Chuck can relate to this next That's guy. That's kind of sexual, I think. Who okay. texted? Uh, mm-hmm. He said, "I love a girl that can make some mean devil eggs." <laughs> egg salad. Yeah, those are oh the eggs of God. love. Those are the eggs of love. They <laughs> are. I think they are more loving than a uh, egg salad sandwich. You've got to know and trust and really, really love the person that makes your deviled eggs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, you do. You do. You absolutely Strange do. Strange deviled eggs is for nobody. No, <laughs> no. No way. Uh, <laughs> Brian's in Rockwood. Brian, something odd you find attractive? Um, I-, I was saying uh, I dated a girl quite a few years ago who was um, a musical virtuoso. She could literally pick up any instrument and within minutes know how to play it. And I found that very strangely attractive. Um, She came over, it was maybe the first week we were dating, and my mom had a violin that she played years and years ago, and she picked this thing up, and within no more than 15 minutes, she was sitting there playing it like she'd been on it for years. Yeah, it's weird. Like some people have that, like just natural like ability. The just, with Georgia. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you just what? touched that for the first time. <laughs> then, like you realize the devil's there with this you. Chick is hot. Yeah, <laughs> like she's just <laughs> going crazy on the fiddle. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Julie's up next on the Dave and Chuck lines. Julie, what's something odd that you find attractive? I am very turned on by a man who can do whatever it is he's good at when he is skilled, whether it's talking someone down from being angry or working on a car or just whatever he's good at. It's extremely erotic to just watch it. Hmm. Yeah. So anyone good at something. Yeah. I mean, I do think um, guys are it, it doesn't matter. Like it clearly doesn't matter like what a guy is into as long as they're passionate about something. Right. I think that passion sometimes and translates into yeah, a, a, an attractive. Right. I think that's a goals. good thing for dudes to hear, like that a chick is like appreciates, like if you're good at something. You yeah, know, right. and like uh, this person said, when a man smiles and his canines are slightly more prominent than the rest of his teeth, so sexy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a woman who wants to be bit. Yeah. yeah. Hate to tell you. This person <laughs> says, I'm a registered nurse and I find words attractive. What you, what you mean? Wounds. Oh, Wounds. okay. 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 Yeah, Spelling yeah, mistake there. Yeah. Spelling mistake. Uh, Wounds attractive. Mm. Is that Jason again? She, yeah. She he said, my husband cut his face open with a grinder over the weekend, and it was so cool. Oh, oh my God. That's some weird wires crossing. Yeah, that it is. Kind of yeah. Stuff. yeah, it is. This guy says, <laughs> messy hair on a chick gives me a half chub. Well, <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Very cool. Yeah. And then one more, and I think this is a little dark sided. Someone said mm. they oddly find someone with asthma attractive. <laughs> so they can't breathe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's well. it. When someone whips out their inhaler mid conversation, I am immediately turned on by that. That reminds me of oh, this no, one time no. when I couldn't breathe. Turn off the phones! You wouldn't believe it, but I was being held underneath the water. Oh, okay, by all man. right. That's enough. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for calling in. <laughs> Messy hair makes me hard. Half <laughs> <laughs> <F> job. <Yeah. laughs> uh oh. Another bitch is tripping. And these bitches allegedly working at the check in counter for Spirit Airlines. Mm, dangerous had, place. Had enough of each other. Mm-mm. One, especially with the other one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like based on their conversation, they've been crap talking each other. Yeah. And it gets wild. People are right there. The person that's recording it is checking in for their flight. <laughs> she's checking them in and she stops to let just this verbal tirade loose on this spirit coworker. And this has taken off online. And you can check out the details here. We have 
there's a lot of swearing in the original. We've had to edit this so highly. many, so Uh-oh. many swears. But yeah, uh, I did my absolute best. Well, it has to be perfect. <laughs> Amazingly funny. <laughs> Amazingly funny to hear the unedited version, which we're gonna tweet out. Yeah, or spread on. I us. hope it's perfect, Al. Here. So do I. No yeah. There was a, there was a couple of words. I'm like, I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna Just mute it anyway. It. Just yeah. bleep it. Bleep it out. Here we go. This is how it played out. This is the check in counter at Spirit Airlines. Do not play with me because I'm not the one or the two. You're not the one or the two. Let's go. You ain't got enough. You ain't gonna do nothing. Like I said, keep my name out your mouth, bitch. Always in your system. No, some reason. It always. Out of here. Out of here before I slap. You're not gonna slap. Try me. You think you're fucked up? I'm not trying you. Try me, baby. I'm dropping your ass. Out of here, you dirty bitch. Yes, you are. Out of here. You and your raggedy ass bitch. Out of here. Go Yeah, go suck a dick. Yeah. Like I said, I said what I said. And I said what I said. Please step to me like you want it. Go suck another dirty Go suck another dirty I'm not dick. one of the two, bitch. You tried me two times. I want you to do it a third. I wanted I want her to say, okay, how can I help you today? I, I was waiting for it. I was waiting we, for we, it. We watched yesterday. She'd be like, and would you like to sit in the middle of the extra row? Yeah. I'm sorry. That your bag is uh, 51 pounds. I was waiting. Because she just gets back to work. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Like, she is swearing at this lady and then also looking up someone's ID at the same time. I mean, she, Amazing. she she like hit, hit that woman with her breasts and belly and made <laughs> her sit did. down. Yeah, she knocked her right down onto <laughs> yeah. that to yes. the, the belt <laughs> on the uh, luggage belt. Yeah. She almost was belted away into <laughs> yeah. the back. She almost shipped her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not the one of the two. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> not I the one. Know. You're not the one. You're not the two. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but it sounds crazy. I know. Go I mean, suck a dirty... Yeah, <laughs> she really. She let her have it. She did let her have it. She let her have it. She didn't give a damn about her job. No. She does look right there. Uh, no. Yeah, <laughs> she almost got sent on an international flight. Oh, <laughs> oh no, you don't. <laughs> So we just put this on X. Search Dave and Chuck on X. You'll see this unedited. You got to watch it unedited, too. It's amazing. Oh, my God. It's so funny. You'll see it there. I can't believe, like, someone is in line. I know. I believe that they had already been, like, all that stuff had already happened, Lisa. She already took my ID and was like, all right, let me get you on this flight. Well, you can see... I wondered if that was the person's phone with their boarding pass on it because she looks at it. Oh, her, yeah. Or it's just her phone. Who knows? But <laughs> She's uh, got something in her hand like a boarding pass. One more time. We'll have to see it because you missed it. Take a listen here. Don't play with me. Do not play with me. No. Do not play with me because I'm not the one or the two. You're not the one or the two. Let's go. You ain't got to no. You ain't going to no, do that. I just made my tickets. Speaking on me for nothing. Like I said, keep my name out your mouth, bitch. Keep my name out your mouth. Mine is always in yours for some reason. No, some reason. It all that's unbelievable like i said i said what i said and i said what i said Please step to me like you want it. Go I another like, dirty. I feel like it's spirit. They're like, I'm this is one exactly what we're looking for. Yeah. I'm she kept the one of the two. She kept it moving. <laughs> we want you to be able to do that to our customers. Yeah. Okay. That, that lady talked to her coworker the way Dave talks to us if we scare him in the hallway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. Go talk to dirty DL. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's true. He will. He'll say that. She also has a Stephen A. Smith haircut. Oh, no, it's, it's not. A, it is a wild look. It is not. It's a, a wild look. Meanwhile, the people at Delta are like, oh, my. Yeah. What's yeah. happening over my there? Yeah. 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 Oh, Lord. Oh, spirits Lots really gone. we <laughs> gone crazy today. <laughs> Call the authorities. Yeah. <laughs> Don't walk down that and, and Ryan Airlines, like, hold my beer. Yeah. 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 For sure. It is absolutely crazy. But huh. you guys, 
Can you figure out why Spirit Airlines is preparing for bankruptcy protection? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Gee, I wonder. Turns yeah. out that if you give people service like this and treat them crappy for years, yeah. they yeah. won't That's fly your happens. airline anymore. Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, you could hear the woman who's recording it at one point very early on. She's like, you have to give me back my ticket because she's thinking all hell's going to break loose. Right. Her ticket and, and everything is on, on the other side. Flight. Yeah. But I mean, like, I feel like if you run spirit, you're like, this lady's ability to confront somebody else is, is outstanding. Oh, my God. Yeah. The thing she says to demean them. Great. Yeah. But yeah. You're so right. If it had to end it with, so you're a gay 25 <laughs> and enjoy your flight. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been the best. Oh, my God. I feel, I feel like that definitely happened. It happened. But just yeah, it so took her a while. That. Yeah. It took her a while to do it. And it's not just this one person. You know, there's like. Probably a hundred people in line yeah. waiting to check in. Oh, that yeah, that was a show, thing, man. right? That was a show for everybody. Yeah, yep. just a cool thing to say. I, I'm not the one or the two. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I like that I one. Don't want to say it. One I the will two. drop kick <laughs> your ass. <laughs> Do not step to me, Green Bean. Yeah. I wish you would <laughs> drop kick your ass. <laughs> drop <laughs> kick your ass. <laughs> Amazing. Do you notice Incredible. how she was hanging onto the counter to the the woman that got pushed down by her boobs? She was oh, like yeah. hanging on when she got back to her. Yeah. She's oh. like, don't push me down again. Yeah, she knew what could happen. Oh, absolutely she did. Because you're right. She used her gut and her boobs. Oh, yeah. Her it, guts to launched knock her. her down right on Not today, that. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> 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 walked into the wall of boobies. Yeah. <laughs> the great titty wall. <laughs> <laughs> and you're down. <laughs> Ship yourself. <laughs> Ship yourself somewhere else. Shame if that baggage got lost. <laughs> Give yourself an air tag. <laughs> no one's going to know where you is. <laughs> Kapow! Amazing, amazing. amazing. What a move. Yeah, it's yeah. incredible. <laughs> to launch incredible. a lady backwards using <laughs> your <laughs> boobs. Yep. Is oh! oh. <laughs> I guess you just felt the thunder. <laughs> She watched her fall like it. That's how she does it. Oh, yeah. Stood over her like a professional wrestler. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for checking out the Dave and Chuck the Freak Tasty Bits podcast. If you want to hear the entire Dave and Chuck the Freak show from today, subscribe and download the podcast now from the Apple Podcast app or the Google Play Store.